Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com. Literally seconds ago, the uh, Vitaly Klitschko, Derek Chisora fight just ended. And uh, Derek Chisora did a lot better than I thought he would do. But the guy scoring the fight on my channel page had this fight a lot closer than I did. I thought Vitaly Klitschko dominated the fight. I know he was on his back foot. I know Derek Chisora had probably the most success of any Vitaly Klitschko opponent in recent memory in backing him up. And I know Derek Chisora kept coming forward for all 12 rounds. In fact, I thought the 12th round, which just concluded, was Derek Chisora's best round. And yes, Vitaly Klitschko did look. He did look a little bit tired. And he did look like he was hanging on in that last round, grabbing Chisora, holding the back of his neck like Ali held the back of Joe Fraser's neck in their rematch, the middle fight before the thriller in Manila. Now, all of that said, I still thought the scale gap between the two was so huge that I didn't give Derek Chisora more than, let's say, three rounds, right? And um, let me just say, the difference between Derek Chisora and Chisora obviously is now a major player in the heavyweight division, right? I'm sure a lot of you know, uh, heavyweights are viewing Derek Chisora as the ultimate listmus test. And there are a lot of guys who wouldn't be able to survive against Derek Chisora's nonstop aggression, right? But the difference between Derek Chisora and Joe Fraser, and it's major, is that Joe Fraser knew how to cut off the ring. Look at Joe Fraser against Bob Foster, one of the best light heavyweight champions in history, right? Joe Fraser, not as big as Derek Chisora, right? Chisora was weighing in the 240s for this fight. Joe Fraser, I believe, for the first Ali fight, weighed less than 210 pounds. But Joe Fraser, even against a mover like Ali, could actually cut off the ring, pin you in the corner. Derek Chisora, unfortunately, looked like Sonny Liston against Ali. He couldn't cut the angles off. Right, Vitaly Klitschko, whose movement is underrated. It looks herky-jerky, but if you look at the canvas, he's covering a lot of real estate when he moves. Was never pinned for any extended period of time along the ropes or in the corner. Derek Chisora had a problem shortening the distance. Right, the other problem was, you know, Joe Fraser, like Jack Dempsey, had a bob to his head. Right? Joe bobs his way in. It's bobbing and weaving. Derek Chisora's head was there for several Vitaly Klitschko right hands early in this fight. You know, he gets hit with several right hands when he flashed the left hook. Vitaly Klitschko, who's throwing a pretty straight right hand, seemed to me to have it timed from almost the opening bell. He always has that right hand back to block Chisora's left hook. He always has it back. Now, I was watching the British feed, and um, these announcers, in my opinion, um, love the homeland fighter. They were a bit too enthusiastic about Derek Chisora, and I believe that's going to spawn a legend that this fight was a robbery. It wasn't. Chisora doesn't land that left. While the announcers are getting excited every time Chisora lunges in, and it is breathtaking to see a shorter guy trying to take the fight to a taller guy, right? Understand, Vitaly Klitschko has it blocked. When Chisora is able to get inside of Vitaly's hands, Vitaly was able to clinch him from early on. He's clinching him. And Chisora is just not a guy who knows how to break a clinch or to continue throwing punches 
during the clinch, right? Let me also say that I thought that Vitaly Klitschko fought a really high-level fight. He abandons the jab. He's not jabbing a lot. What he's doing is literally, while backing up, timing right hands. And the only reason this fight went the distance is that Derek Chisora, quite frankly, has a great chin. It certainly was tested numerous times in this fight. You know, also Chisora, for some odd reason, didn't really go to Klitschko's body enough. Um, what the fight seemed to me to be, and I'd love to hear from YouTube Nation, was um, a more skilled fighter on his back foot literally backing up, throwing straight right hands, landing with the right hand, literally blocking about 80, 90 percent of what came back at him because Chisora, another problem with Chisora, right? Chisora doesn't faint. When he loads up to throw a punch, you know the punch is coming, right? He's not an advanced fighter who will actually faint you get you to throw up your hand and then hit you in the rib cage, right? He's not a fainter. He's just throwing punches, right? So he's an aggressive guy who comes forward and throws punches. I didn't think he was on Vitaly Klitschko's level. I know people are going to disagree with me, but really, how many flush shots up top did you see Derek Chisora hit Vitaly Klitschko with? Also, look at their faces after the fight. Vitaly Klitschko has an unmarked face. Derek Chisora actually has a swollen eye. I guarantee you out of these two, if anyone has a headache, it's Derek Chisora. Now, I know people were upset when the scores were announced after the end of the ninth round, right? Um, should have been done at the end of the eighth round. It was 79-73. 79, 74, and 79, 73. The guys on my channel page were outraged at that. They thought the fight was closer. I didn't. Now, I agree, Vitaly Klitschko didn't look as good as he has looked in other fights. But if you look at what actually lands, understand, if Derek Chisora throws a lunging left hook and Vitaly just blocks it, then Vitaly Klitschko hits him with a very hard right hand and Chisora doesn't blink. The advantage still has to go with Vitaly because Vitaly landed his punch. Derek Chisora didn't land his. And if Derek Chisora gets inside and Vitaly Klitschko is able to just come in and grab him, even though Chisora is the aggressor and is forcing the action, he's not landing any punches. And if when he's grabbed, he doesn't have a loose hand and pull a Bernard Hopkins and hit the other guy in the ribcage a couple of times to put in work, if all he does is be grabbed, well, Vitaly Klitschko has then successfully defused that bomb. I thought Vitaly won this fight big. I agree that Derek Chisora did look like an active opponent. Clearly, Chisora is someone who is very much in the heavyweight mix. Let me just say this too. You know, David Hay and Vitaly Klitschko would be a very interesting fight. Very interesting. I'd take Vitaly Klitschko, right? As I've said more than once, I believe Klitschko is the best heavyweight of the post Lennox Lewis era. I'd take Klitschko. But understand, David Hay does things that Derek Chisora doesn't do. For one, David Hay faints a lot. Second, David Hay's faster, much faster than Derek Chisora. Third, I think David Hay's power is more sudden. And I do believe Vitaly would have a very hard time tying up David Hay like he tied up Derek Chisora. I think Derek Chisora is more predictable than David Hay. Let's hope uh, current champion Klitschko, former champion David Hay, mend fences and actually make that fight happen because, quite frankly, that fight would be a financial blockbuster, especially since the United Kingdom tonight believes that their guy did much better than expected 
against Vitaly Klitschko and believes that Vitaly Klitschko is showing cracks. Let me make one other plug, too, for another opponent. And I know uh, people on my webpage disagree with me. But as I said in my Vitaly Klitschko, Adlinir Solis pre-fight video, the way to beat Vitaly Klitschko is not from the outside in. It's from the inside out. Right? And uh, let me just say, I think you saw that today. Right? Um, Chisora is pushing the action. Vitaly is on his back foot. By the 15th round, Vitaly is having real problems with Derek Chisora in that, uh, excuse me, not 15th. I'm too much of an old timer. In that 12th round, right? Vitaly is having problems. I'm just here to say that Adlinir Solis, in my opinion, is a more advanced fighter than Derek Chisora. And just imagine what would have happened if Solis, with a high guard, Blocking Vitaly's right hand from the opening bell would have been pressing the issue with, in my opinion, more punching power than Derek Chisora and much straighter punches than Derek Chisora. If Vitaly fought the fight he fought today, I'll tell you what, the outcome would be an open question. So I'd like to see Vitaly Klitschko against David Hay just to see him handle speed, advanced skills from an ambush fighter. Just to see him handle that dynamic, I think that would be interesting, right? And I'd also like to see Vitaly against Adlinir Solis. I thought Vitaly Klitschko won this fight. I'll tip my hat to Derek Chisora for coming to win it. But I didn't give Chisora more than three rounds. Let me hear your scorecard. Leave your comments for all of us here on YouTube and visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for watching.